guys, I'm back. I am so sorry for the couple, well, I think it's a few weeks that I've been gone now. Um, I actually lost a couple of subscribers because of that, but sorry, I never meant to. Um, things have been crazy. Um, just my grandma got sick, she got pneumonia, and she's 76 years old, so nobody really um, can care for her other than me. So um, between running to doctors and pharmacies and just sitting with her every day, I just I didn't really have time for anything else. My life is really boring when nothing extraordinary is happening just because I work from home and so yeah I just I never figured that I wouldn't have time to upload videos to YouTube because nothing ever happens except now. So that's why I have been like MIA and I have really missed making videos and I, I was getting like anxiety like oh my god I haven't done a video in so long like I can't get myself up to like doing it and <sighs> we're gonna take like a deep breath and so I apologize. I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded anything and I have just been gone. So yeah, that's, th thankfully my grandma like got over it. It was like 14 days of antibiotics and she was fine and then today she called me that she's feeling slightly feverish again so hopefully we won't have to go through the entire experience again because it is scary. Now she's like really well like walking with her like just down the street I run out of breath like she's very much up to speed with news and she goes shopping every day she's very active so she's very you know on top of things so when she's not feeling well and when I'm the one who has to go and do run her errands that means it's serious so it really freaked me out for a while I was really stressed out and yeah I couldn't do much of anything uh, the only other thing that I did do um, I have to like renew my driver's license long story so yeah in between going to the doctors and everything I would I had like a couple of classes and I had to renew my glasses because I do wear glasses but it's just um, it's not really that strong it's just weird because this eye just decides to drift off and not do its job so this eye I can't remember which is like nearsighted farsighted whatever but basically I can't really see at a distance which is weird because for one eye I needed like glasses for being nearsighted and the other one was farsighted and that was an entire drama in itself because I really insisted on having my old frames which are like Ralph Lauren I know I say that I'm like on sale and you know cheap not that I'm cheap there are certain things that I do not negotiate on and I just want them like especially if it's something that if it's like an investment a pair of frames I feel it's an investment I got them wow I can't even remember over 10 years ago 15 years ago something like that I like when the whole phase of like um, transparent plexiglass happened so it was a really really long time ago so I wanted I insisted on having those frames and I went to a place that my grandma recommended um, like a thing I don't know what's it called they have like multiple offices so you have like an eye doctor it's like a clinic I think that's what it is I don't know who they work with but when I got my glasses back, first of all my frames were bent, like literally bent, like they were like this. And the glass, they put glass, I wanted glass because I liked glass and when they gave me the glasses, the lenses, they were chipped. They, they had like three spots where they were chipped so yeah I had a nervous breakdown over that and I 
demanded my money back and like mostly elderly people go there so I was like you people are just you know words cannot describe like they're just and I told them you're while I was crying and screaming I'm like you're taking advantage of people who might not have the ability to go somewhere else or you know it's just it was a really bad experience so that was one horrible day that I had and I cried all the way to like another um, place where they make glasses and I demanded I didn't demand but I told them I need them to like redo my lenses because not only were they was my frame bent, not only was the lens chipped, but the doctor that I saw had no idea what she was doing and this eye, I think it's 0.75, it's a plus 0.75 and this one was a plus one and she upped this one to like plus 120 something, 25, and this one went to 225 plus. It was just crazy, and like I couldn't see anything, it was a blur. So I went to a different place and I was like, I need new glasses, they damaged these, and you know, between me crying and sniffling and whatever, I'm like, Do you have like free um, consultations? Because usually most places when you get a new pair of glasses, you get a free consultation, they were like, yes. So I went there and I met this ancient, ancient doctor who I later found out from my grandmother that he made glasses for my great-grandmother because he was young. But So you can imagine how ancient this guy was. And he had like a really, really raspy, like horror movie type voice, but I was like, please, please help me. I need to have like proper glasses because everybody messes up. I understand like I have like a weird condition. Um, it's not easy to fix, it's, it's not really easy to fix my eyes. It's not just a matter of increasing the lens potency or whatever that thing is. It's... Yeah, the thing, the machine that you look into, it zooms onto the little three, three, tree or balloon or whatever it is. Um, it came out like the result that it gave was that this one, this eye was a plus and this eye was a minus. So yeah, it's complicated. So he tried um, different lenses and everything and finally I found the best glasses ever because before that like I went to doctors and they could never match it so I basically wore the same prescription that I got when I was seven years old which in a few weeks will be 20 years ago <laughs> so yeah because my birthday is coming up so I'm really really happy that I got my glasses in case you're wondering what the frames are um, I had them on in my uh, how to become a youtuber or becoming a youtuber video it was a while back and Thankfully they managed to straighten the frames and I am just beyond Happy with my glasses. I should be wearing them all the time, but I've not been doing that so yes other stuff that happened, oh yes, I wanted to talk to you guys about the hair straightener. Remember the whole story where my hair straightener died? Well, I went to a place that, like, electronic repair store, I don't know what it is, and where are you? I gave them my hair straightener and I asked them to fix it, and they did, but they told me that, like, something. Some wires were loose, or I have no idea. Took it home, plugged it in, it got hot, I started straightening my hair, I managed to do one strand, and then it died. It cooled off completely, never wanted to return to life. I really got pissed off and it went straight in the trash can, but then my grandma insisted on like, maybe they can fix it again, so right now it's at her place. Not that it works. So. In anger, I tried straightening my hair with a iron, 
for clothes. Needless to say, I burned my neck. So <laughs> that was dumb. Do not try doing that at home. So what I ended up doing is going to this. I didn't even like have the, you know. Oh, I couldn't even like order stuff online. I was like so pissed off. I'm like, I need one now. So the next day, I went to a supermarket and I just bought the the first one that I saw, <laughs> which was on sale. Sorry, I have to readjust my like those no. So I bought this one, which is a no brand. It called it, it called it called Joy Care. <laughs> Apparently, it is Piastra per Capelli. It is an Italian brand. I've never heard of it. Maybe you guys have heard of it. What really interested me was I needed, obviously, ceramic thing. What are they called? Thing. This part. So that part had to be ceramic and um, I didn't want it to be like really, really high temperature. So this one only goes up to 180 degrees Celsius and that is pretty much what I used my previous one. I can't remember, 280, 290, I can't remember how high it would go, but I would always have it on like low to medium. So maybe like 100 and 20, 130, 40 degrees I was using on it. Um, so this one straight my, straightens my hair faster and I kind of, sort of like it. They say that you can either have like straight hair or you can curl your hair with it, which the other one that I had, the Philips one, I couldn't curl my hair with it. But then again, I never tried curling hair with this one. So it might work, it might not work. It's not fancy at all. It looks kind of cheapy, but oh well. It doesn't even have a lock mechanism. It doesn't have a turn on, turn off button. It doesn't have one of those dial things. It has nothing. If you plug it in, it has a red light there, which comes on and tells you that you can start straightening. Well, no, it really just tells you that it's on. So, and it heats up fairly quickly, I would say. I like it. All in all, I'm happy with it. Um, I might invest in like a more expensive one, because like this part, you see how it doesn't turn Oh, I don't want to break it. The other one that turned, the cord was a lot longer. It was just pink and beautiful and I loved it. But that's not happening with this one. It's okay. I like it. And it does do a good job. I've just been in love with um, curly hair. But the problem with curly hair is that it gets like super tangly here in the back. And it's just driving me crazy. So I'm having a love-hate relationship with curly hair. I really like the look of it. I want to have curly, I was going to say crazy, curly hair. But then it just drives me insane. <sighs> Great. So, yes, that's what's going on. I don't know. Did I want to talk about anything else? Pretty much, I think that's it. I did, however, manage to shop online. That was one thing I managed to do. So I will have a humongous haul video because they just went crazy because they had like 100 million sales. So you know me, I can't resist a good deal. So that's going to be an upcoming video. And I really, 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 really apologize for not being active and for not putting up any videos. Just life has turned crazy and I will try and stay on top of things better. So, yep, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry, and I'm back. And please subscribe, I don't know what the thing is. And comment, and don't leave my page. <laughs> okay, thank you so much guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!